Let's go, Steel. Let's go, yo. Let's go. Hey guys, I want to take a moment to expound on what you guys are looking at. I've had a quite a few requests on how did I build my running pen and also what tools it took to build my pen and what are the pros and what are the cons if there are any. So I want to just take a minute and um let you guys know that for 30 plus years I uh, did not have a running pen so I trained all of my dogs like my father taught me and that's pretty much take them out with mama or daddy whichever dog was really really good and just let them stick with them until they start running that was one way. The other way, if I didn't have an experienced dog, just constantly take a dog that was at the right age to start, constantly take them out on walks, try to find rabbits, and hopefully, eventually they will start sight chasing and eventually start using their nose. So for 30 plus years, guys, I did that. Uh, I've had a, a few guys to tell me that they've heard on some of the social media outlets that or uh, kind of guys are insinuating that you, utilizing pens, there's something bad about it or you don't get the same results. Guys, I'll tell you the truth about that. In my opinion, is that... Uh, First, let me tell, tell you this. Once I start dealing with um, a better quality of dog and start purchasing dogs from reputable kennels, I kind of saw there was a common denominator. Um, and that common denominator is that those guys utilize pens. Um, the first thing you have to have is, you know, the property to build a pen. And most guys don't have a ton of property, you know. Um, I'm blessed. I've had some air property that was left um, from my past family members. And um, I also purchased property next adjacent to that property. So I actually have about 500 acres to run on in the wild. But I did take 10 acres of that and um, decided I was going to build me a pen. Um, I had guys ask me, what are the cons? I personally don't think there are any. Uh, I think if a dog can run a rabbit in a training pen, he definitely won't have a problem with a wild rabbit. So uh, all I can tell you guys is I will copy success. I don't follow too much, but if I see something working, I will definitely try to emulate it. So at the end of the day, I have nothing bad to say about them. Uh, Again, I can compare, you know, a lot of guys, you know, make statements and they have nothing to compare things to. But I, I, I trained dogs for 30 plus years um, from my early childhood up until my mid 30s uh, without utilizing a pen. But I can tell you doing it both ways, I see no difference in ability. Um, I personally think that training them in a pen allows them to develop a lot quicker. Uh, 
it's a controlled environment. Um, you don't have the same dangers that you would, um, especially when you put a puppy out there. You know, um, there's no guarantee that your puppy won't run off on something that's wrong. Trash is what we call it. And, um, you know, get lost and you never see them again. I've, I've had all those things to happen. So I really like the fact that I can leave my puppies um, that has just begun their life, have no idea about anything in a controlled environment after they've graduated from that and then expose them to all the dangers and all the other obstacles that they will face, you know, going forward out in the wild. So I have a, like what I would consider a progressionary method in, in training my dogs. Uh, if I had to do it all over again, um, I have no problem doing the old way because it works as well. Um, you'll never hear me guys talk about what somebody else should do or how they do it. All I do is pass on the things that work for me and uh, hope some of you guys can get something from it. I didn't have um, this type of information when I was learning a lot of things. You know, I had to um, kind of learn by trial and error, but that's the best teacher, I would say. But anyway, I will be showing you guys some of the tools that it took for me to build these pens. And with the visual and some of the audio that you see, hopefully you guys can get enough information that you can go forward and build your own if, if you choose to do so. But again, I just wanted to put this up for you guys as, that have been asking for me to do this. I know it has taken a while, but at the end of the day, here it is. Hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, I wanted to show you guys my gate area. Uh, that little mechanism right there is a must. It gives you that flexibility to keep your line, your hot wire tight. And it actually connects from over there to over here. And as you can see how it goes here and then it goes up there and it connects right there. Uh, also, on this side, you see that little indicator right there? See it blinking? That means I have 360 degrees of current because my box is down there. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but that's where my box is. So from that point going all the way around and coming 
right back here, I have current. So from this point to here to here makes it a full connection all the way around this pin. So just wanted you guys to see that. I'll just come right here and I'll, I'll hang it. It's a little shaky footage, guys, but hang in there with me. But I'll hang it right there. And that's how it's done. So, um, also, I cement it right below my gate. At one time, I had something digging in um, because I have a, oh, oh, that one foot overlap that I was telling you guys about. Uh, and that high tensile wire on the bottom, it can't really dig under my under my fence here and all the way around. But this was the, the weakest link. But now it's actually the strongest. So don't have to worry about anything digging in anymore. So I want you guys to see that over and out. All right, one last note, guys. This kind of can be misunderstood. I bought my wire at six foot tall. So six foot rolls as far as in height. And the height of this fence right here is five foot. So I have five foot down. And as you can see, it overlaps one foot coming inside the pen. So nothing can dig in and nothing can dig out. And as you can see that high tensile wire um, it's very, very tight, and that's what the chicken wire hooks on to. So, it serves for two purposes. Nothing can dig under there, and also to hook the chicken wire onto it. Just like it is here in the middle, and just like it is here on top. First two years, I didn't have hot wire. Second year, I added hot wire all the way around start seeing bobcat tracks so they were scaling getting in here and taking out my rabbit population so that's how it goes I've cleaned this side up over here. Last year this time. Nothing but trees. Now I will be able to see the dogs really work. Hey guys, before we go any further, I want to clear up a few things. I've been asked the question, what's the difference between a starting pin and a running pin? Um, some people call them lots, some people call them enclosures. They're pretty much synonymous. It just depends on the number of rabbits you may have in that particular enclosure. I've, I know guys that have a ton of rabbits in their enclosures and they really pretty much utilize them for only starting puppies. As far as my enclosure is concerned, I only have a few rabbits, so I utilize my enclosure to start puppies and also pretty much a conditioning pen. I let them run. Uh, the difference is 
with my enclosure, they really, really have to hunt. There are times that I will go to my enclosure and walk around with the dogs for a couple of hours and don't jump a rabbit. It can be discouraging, but at the end of the day, that's more like reality opposed to having a pen full of rabbits and every five, six minutes, they're jumping another one. You can give a dog uh, the impression that it's not that difficult to jump a rabbit and they'll just wander around knowing that they will eventually run into one. So I don't want that. So I want my dogs to hunt very, very hard. And um, there has been a notion that running pens will take the hunt out of dogs because it's very, very easy for them to jump a rabbit. And that could be the case if there are a lot of rabbits in that particular pen. But I definitely do not believe in having a ton of rabbits. I can walk around my pen at times and only see one or two rabbits. So that would be the difference, guys. It just depends on how many. Of course, um, puppies have short attention spans. So, you know, they really like to see that rabbit every so often to keep their interest and and eventually start running sight chasing eventually start trailing with their nose but i want to keep it as realistic as possible even though it's in a controlled environment and guys there is no substitute for time on the ground that's the biggest plus when it comes to having an enclosure or or running pin or starting pin I can put my dogs in there, go to work, eight hours later, come back, pick them up, feed them, or I can keep them in there, feed them, and let them stay in there all night, all day long. There's no comparison, and that's the reason that they can develop so much faster opposed to you having to pick them up, take them, you know, wait on them and so on and so forth. At the end of the day, it's convenient. Convenience is everything, guys, especially when you have a ton of dogs. Most responsible adults have jobs to go to um, and don't have all day, every day to take dogs out, pick them up, train them. So that is one of the major benefits of having an enclosure or training pen. So guys, I'm looking forward to this year. I have a ton of puppies, and I will definitely be showing you guys how I incorporate this pen in their development and transition them out to the to the wild. So hit that subscribe button, leave me a comment, and make sure you stick with me because we have a big year coming up. We have a lot of new things coming. I want to introduce you to four or five more guys that I've <clears throat> known over the years that's very knowledgeable. And um, we're just going to be talking dogs. We're going to have a good time going forward. So like I said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. And I hope that you guys got a lot out of this. Until next time, keep running those dogs.